Hello. I am live, yes. Hey, we are live. You're live, I'm live. We're sharing the world. We're together. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I'm only happy one person comes in here, so I'm good. From Alphanetic, hey. I'm here with Ghostmaster. Arnie B. Diary! We're actually going outside to have a smoke. Hold on. Alright, sorry about that. I had Wi Fi that disconnected. We are inside the walls of what would have been like their yard. Okay. So this is the yard. This is where they would have played basketball and stuff outside. The actual pen is back here. The basketball court with the barbed wire. This is like their workshop. That's where the Caracon is at, is inside, thank God. Um, in this area, they would have had a greenhouse as well, and this is where Tommy Mulhan and a couple others escaped. Hey Colleen, hey Jennifer. So at four o'clock we're actually doing the tour inside. Welcome. But yeah, we're doing the tour inside at four. So I will be able to check the connections and stuff to see whether I will actually be able to live stream inside. So we're gonna see about that. Hopefully we can. Somebody says there's sections that you will be able to and other sections you won't. Emma, Patrick Boomer, J Real, Colleen. Going back through the chat. Mudcon. Lewis Fuller, Fallen Angel. What's up, everybody? I'm glad y'all are here. As soon as we're done with the smoke break, we'll go back inside and hopefully I don't lose signal in the workshop. So you can see that. Tennessee Reef. Chasers is in there. They start talking, I think, at 4.30, so we're going to miss them because we'll be inside the pen. 
Oh, it's so hot. Hey, Eileen. Yeah, definitely staying hydrated. This prison closed in the 90s. There's a couple vendors out here sweating it out. hunters that come to this prison and everything, they never go out to the cemetery. I'll tell them that. I've got videos on my channel where I actually go out to the cemetery. I, I rode up Wow. Where was that? Yeah. You know Dave Otten down there? Dave Otten? Yeah. He's our neighbor. That's your neighbor? That's my foster brother. Okay, he's our neighbor. So where did you come down? You go right up around that turn and you go down. When you come down from the clinic, I like that when it floods down there. Everybody just opens up their basement doors and lets the water in. Yeah. So we're in a flood zone too because he's, he's right up the road in us. We're right beside the PSW. Mm -hmm. Okay. Leonard, hello. Alright, I'm going to go back in where I can hopefully see my phone because the sun is glaring and I can't read the chat. signals holds or not. Life after, hello. Let me know if the signal starts lagging or anything, guys. Hey, Hazel. How's the signal holding, guys? So far, so good. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's supposed to get nasty and storm tomorrow, but today. straight chase paracon that they've had here so it's not huge by any means but the location itself is worth it their signal holding guys souls gates paranormal from buffalo new york is here I subbed up to him when we got here. I see a chair. It's calling my name. Okay. Whoo, it's warm. So how's everybody? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Signal okay? Is it still cutting out, Jennifer? Hey, country girl. How are you, baby? Definitely, definitely, definitely warm. Thank goodness for air conditioning. Awesome, Patrick. Thank you. Sweet. Yeah, I'm just kind of sitting. Ghost, Nero, Anaki, they're all outside still, but it's too hot for that. We go into the prison um, for the tour at four. That's where I'll be testing connectivity to make sure that I have connection inside. I do have Xfinity Wi-Fi. Um, so we'll see if I don't have Cell signal if I can get signal using that. So I've got two different options. <laughs> yeah, David Spinks, when we were talking to him, he said that. He had an episode on The Unexplained that aired last night on the History Channel. Yeah, Jay Real, I will. What I'm gonna do is when we get in line to go to the prison, I'll end it and then I'll restart it when we get inside. And like I said, I don't know whether I'll have connection or not. I'll see what I can do. If I have connection either with the cell data or with Xfinity, then um, you'll be able to see the inside too. If I don't have any 
connection, then I'll be doing video footage and uploading the video. Yeah, we were talking to some locals and um, Steve Hummel from Paranormal Quest, he was telling us about an area that they want to get into. He's going to do some land title searches to find out who owns the property to get permission to go. But apparently there is like in this one area, um, bodies buried into the hillside and bones are sticking out. So he's wanting to go and investigate that. And it's an abandoned area anyways, but he wants to make sure that he has permission to go on the property and not get any trespassing charges or anything like that. So we might be able to collab with him for that if he does get into that. We were talking to him about the Bel Air Hospital and he'd like to collab if we get into that. This building with, that we're in is like their workshop. I don't know whether they made license plates or what exactly they made here, but yeah, unmarked graves, um, all kinds of stuff. I guess there was a news story on it, I don't know when, but news story on it that kids were kicking skulls around the ground, like playing kickball with skulls. So I don't know. If we get more details, then I will definitely let you know. Country, you're only a few hours away. You're more than welcome anytime. Hey, diary. Oh, and here comes the the legend himself. I don't know how he's wearing jeans and a black t-shirt. Steady Boynes, how are ya? It's the myth, the legend, Ghost Mafia himself. <laughs> there you go, country girl. Delight, aren't you? <laughs> Country girl. <laughs> Country girl, Colleen, afterlife, life, afterlife. They're all saying hi to you. Hi, Uber. Good. So you guys have any questions, anything that I could try to answer for you? Oh, there's another, I don't know if they're on YouTube though, Mountain State Paranormal. They've got a local phone number. Study boys, this is the Paracon. Um, where the vendors are, the speakers are, in a short, well, about 4 o'clock Eastern Time, we'll be going into the Moundsville, West Virginia State Pen for the tour. I'll be testing my connectivity to see whether tonight during the lock-in I'll be able to go live so that you guys have a front seat, front seat um, to the action. If I can't get connection, though, we'll have to do 
a recording and then upload it. I heard that some areas you do get a little bit of a signal, other areas you don't. So it's going to be hit and miss. But we've got Anaki, Jack Colorado Explorers here. We've got Ghost Mafia here, Nero Trigger here. There's going to be many different videos that will get uploaded in the next couple days. over here by Tennessee Wraith Chasers again. Oh, look. Say hi to Uber. She didn't have Wi Fi back here, so. What time is it, anyways? Do you know what time it is? I'm not sure what time. This is David Spinks, guys. Okay, so we've got about 40 minutes before we get in line. There was a lot more people here when we first got here. So just many, many things going on, guys. Um, let me see what we got here. All right, let me tell you a little bit about the new book I just told you about. West Virginia Hauntings Volume 1. I am the only person that has ever been allowed to investigate the actual Green Bayer Ghost murder house. It was purely almost by happenstance. I met a guy who was a paranormal enthusiast who knew the actual owner. He hooked me up and I told him who I was. He let me in his private residence to do an investigation. And I've been doing an ongoing investigation of this zone for several years. So the first part of the investigation is in that part. It's still ongoing. Uh, hey, Green Bay. I've been the house and I've gone to the graveyard several times, which will be in later uh, volumes of that book. So it was a really honor for me. If you don't know about the Green Bay Ghost House uh, Ghost Story, it's really a famous story because it's the only time in recorded history that someone has been convicted in the court of law based on their ghost testimony. Pretty fascinating stuff. And it has a connection right here to Mellonville because guess what? Her husband was convicted of murder. He was sent here when he died several months later. And he's buried out in an unmarked grave out of the grave. So it's kind of a weird synchronicity. Me and him there working here, doing everything. It's kind of freaky stuff. Yeah, I want to find out what that guy's prison inmate number was so we can go to the uh, right, cemetery and see if we can here's locate his grave. The Will's Week book will be out this fall. That's the UFO book. I'm um, hoping that will be out this fall. That's the volume two of the Real West Virginia Hawkins with the ghost coal miner on it. Really cool cover done by my uh, graphic artist, Mark Rainer. Colleen, you gotta move south, darling. There's a new show I was on just last night to get explained. Close to William Shatner. And if you don't know, I've been on several other TV shows I was on currently. One, which is just came out. I was also on. Jim Gall, 
Oh my goodness. Hello, honey. I really need to get the uh, selfie stick out. Here's my website, check it out. It's got links for all my stuff. www.gayspacepaternalinvestigator.com. And now I'll take any questions you might have. Anybody have questions? Hey, Bruce. So I'm going to go ahead and end this, um, and then once we get into the pen, I will attempt to go live again. If I don't have connection, I will go live with